Well, guys, today is the first day that you can vote early for the Sebastian County judges race. Now, and candidate Denny Alvarez would not talk to us on camera, but he said he's still running for the position, even though he was arrested on Friday. I think that I have the, the executive experience to run the county. That's Denny Altas when we spoke to him at a candidate forum on March 21st. He's one of three Republicans on the May 24th ballot. According to jail records we obtained through a freedom of information request, Altas turned himself into the Sebastian County Sheriff's Department Friday afternoon, May 6th. He was booked in the Sebastian County Detention Center at 225. Jail records show he was released about 21 minutes later at 246 on a signature bond, which means he didn't have to pay anything. According to online court records posted on May 6th, Altus will be charged with abuse of public trust. According to Arkansas law, abuse of public trust includes a person who solicits, accepts, or agrees to accept on behalf of anyone, any benefit or understanding that the other person will be appointed to a public servant or nominated as a candidate for office. The law states abuse of public service is a class C felony if the value of the benefit is $5,000 or more, but less than $25,000. If convicted, the charge carries a sentence of three to 10 years in prison. As of Monday, no court records have been made available to the public, only that the offense occurred on February 21st. Special Prosecutor Emily White would only say that an order to limit pretrial publicity exists, but she would not send us that order, and neither would the circuit clerk's office. Altus is running against Republicans Jeff Turner and Steve Holtz. Since there are no Democrats running, the winner will be the next Sebastian County judge who will oversee county employees and operations. We've got a, like a $50 million budget, 500 employees. I've worked hard over the past 40 years building businesses that will help and uh, support Sebastian County. Well, I'm the only candidate with extensive background experience plus 10 years of county government experience. I'm ready to hit the ground running and use my business skills there at the county. Right now, Steve Holtz is the county treasurer. We asked him about his opponent's felony charge, but he says the motion to limit pretrial publicity also applies to him. I'm not at liberty to discuss that case, but I will say this. If anybody, a candidate or an office holder, violates the public trust, there needs to be consequences. I didn't know about it till I uh, got a call Friday afternoon, just like everybody else. Well, other than what's been reported in the news, I don't know anything more. Jeff Turner has worked in the county judge's office for 14 years. He's currently the county administrator. I've uh, been given 30 years of public service uh, to my community, to my country. Um, and I feel like that as learning this last 14 years with uh, the current judge that I'm effectively doing the job right now. And I feel like I have the best skills and capabilities to do it. And we know that Tuesday night at 630 in Greenwood, the Chamber of Commerce is hosting the County Judge Candidate Forum. As of right now, we do not know if Altus will take part in that forum. Of course, we'll let you know. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.